Hey guys, it's Maggie and today I'm going to be filming an outfit of the day and my everyday makeup. And sorry, I kind of have a black eye from cheer. I don't know if that's noticeable or not, but yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Okay, so first thing I'm going to be doing is the outfit of the day. And um, I'm wearing kind of like a red outfit today, which is kind of uncommon because I like to keep it kind of like... I don't know, more in the lighter, brighter, girlier colors, and f red has never been for me one of my early favorite colors, so, um, yeah, I just have this striped shirt from Wet Seal, and it's got two little hearts, this one, sorry, <laughs> this one has, like, flowers on it, and this one is just, you know, regular lace, and underneath, I'm just wearing a sports bra, because, um, Sometimes I don't really like to wear tank tops, and I have tons of sports bras and cheer, so instead of going out and, like, buying a bandeau, I just wear sports bras, so yeah. And then for shorts, I have these red shorts with the little, I don't know what they're called, but you probably did. Um, there's these red shorts, and they're from Target, and I just... I don't really get a lot of my shorts from Target. I kind of stick with Abercrombie or just other places where I can really ever find jean shorts. But recently I've discovered that they have like the best jean shorts and they're so cute. And so yeah, I know Paige also has a lot and that was what we were both wearing I think in the outfit of the day were shorts from Target. So I mean, I don't know, it's just something that we discovered and we like it so let us know if you like it too and so yeah um i just also straightened my hair just not very good but yeah so that's my outfit of the day so um i'll get started on my makeup now all right so first i'm going to be taking my erase paste from benefit and i'm going to conceal under my eyes and kind of around on my acne or blemishes or any spot that i want to conceal so, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll talk to you guys when I'm done. Alright, so I hope, as you can see, um, I just kind of quickly concealed underneath my eyes and around up here where I just have some blemishes, and, um, basically just anywhere else where I felt like I looked kind of sleepy or where I thought could use a little bit of brightening because this stuff is really good for that. And, um, it's a little bit lighter than my actual skin tone, but I kind of like that because it gives me kind of like a not cakey, but kind of like bright, fresh look. And so, yeah, that's what I like about that. And now I'm going to move on to my CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Foundation. And um, I've never been a fan of liquid foundations, but and I don't even really know if you would call this a liquid foundation. It's almost gone, but. I thought it was really neat and I thought I'd try it and end up loving it. So it's kind of like almost like a second concealer and a little bit of a base for my powder because besides that, all I wear is powder. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll talk to you when I'm done with that. Okay, so I went ahead and did that and it kind of leaves not um, too cakey. Well, I mean, it's a little cakier than I'm used to, but it doesn't give like a false impression on my face. Like I can still see like my natural features like freckles and stuff like that. And you can probably tell I don't <laughs> put anything on my eyelids, which really looks weird until I put my primer and my eyeshadow on. But I don't know if I'm the only one who does that. But um yeah. And um by the way, I'm just getting ready to just go out to dinner with my mom and um yeah. I don't really have any big plans because I'm only 14 and yeah um but also just a side note if me and uh, Paige hasn't made any individual videos yet I think but we're just kind of still a little awkward because we're not used to it and we're just testing this out so please don't leave any rude comments talking about we wear too much makeup or I mean yeah we are still young but we really um we're both competitive cheerleaders and we always have been used to makeup and just like having fun with it and it is the summertime so we wear a little bit more than maybe we should for school and I'll just put that out there now I know for a fact Paige most days she just puts a little bit of mascara on or maybe if any eyeshadow I mean I always just no matter what I'll have eyeliner on 
like top or bottom just depends on how my mood is I'll put a line on my eye unless it's just a lazy day which I mean everyone has but we do not and I just wear powder but we do not wear that much makeup for our age I'll tell you that right now like we know girls who wear so much more than we do so just please be respectful you know how would you feel if someone you know said something rude to you when you're just experimenting you know trying out YouTube and we're just trying to have fun so yeah um now I'm gonna put on my Maybelline dream I'm not even gonna try to say that because I poor about pronouncing things and that makes me stupid then I've been called stupid before I mean I'm blonder than pages but um yeah it's just powder let's just call it that um it's from Maybelline and I'm gonna take my mineral powder brush from Sephora yeah, and it's just a regular brush. And, uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, yeah. Okay, so I went ahead and did that. And um, next, I'm going to start out with my eyeshadow. And um, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Shadow Primer Potion first. And then I'm going to be adding my L'Oreal Paris Infallible, I think, Ice Latte, that's the color it is, and just, I mean, I'm on my, and sorry for my nails, they're still 4th of July, I'm getting them done tomorrow along with my eyebrows, so if my eyebrows look horrible, that's why, but, um, yeah, um, I just have a Mac computer, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, mm -hmm. okay, so I went ahead and did that, and it just, like, it's very natural in the camera, but it is also really natural to, um, when you're looking, sorry if I look this way, I'm looking in the mirror, but um, it's natural looking, but it has a lot of shimmer to it, and it's just really pretty light, and nothing too drastic, and um, to spice it up a bit, to not make me look too natural, I'm gonna use the color tattoo by Eye Studio, 24 hour bad to the bronze, that's the color it is, and just the Maybelline color tattoo eyeshadow, and um, looks like that, like, <laughs> It looks kind of gross, but I mean, I know a lot of people that use it, and um, I've actually had this for a long time, but I didn't really start to love it until I saw people using it on YouTube and all the cool ways that they, you know, made it look, and they use their fingers instead of, I used to use a brush, and that was a disaster, so I use my fingers now, and so much better, so yeah, maybe you're having that same problem, so I would recommend that and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so I went ahead and I did that and I just applied it to my upper crease and kind of in the middle and um by the way I apply my um infallible ice latte eyeshadow everywhere like not up here but kind of like all over the lid and um then I, I'll just go over it so I don't know that's just how I do it um so now I'm going to be taking my Line Stiletto by Maybelline and I'm going to be lining from about maybe here over, kind of like a thin line. And um, I usually do my waterline eyeliner, but this is about as much as I can do because as you can see, I have a black eye and I don't know, I just don't want a lot of makeup getting in my eye. Okay, um... So I lined my eyes, and um, I didn't do the best job, but it, I, I mean, it's fine. It looks better from far away, I guess, than up close, and I don't know. I just, really quick, just going out to dinner with my mom, and it's not a big deal. Um, But yeah, some days you're going to do it good, some days you're going to do it bad. I mean, liquid eyeliner is kind of hard. I just kind of started out, like, a couple months ago with it, so... Yeah, um, now I'm going to do blush because I kind of forgot to do that. I usually do that after my um, foundation, but this is the Coralie Stop by Benefit, and it looks like this. I have never used another blush, ever, ever. I started by using this for cheer competitions, and I've never used another one other than that, and I wear blush every single day. I don't know, I just... First of all, it smells like heaven. It's like the smell is perfection. 
And it's like, a, it's not something like I would wear, like I would never wear that color lipstick. I'm just, I'm not trying to be mean. I love how it looks on some people, but the co this color does not look good on me. But for some reason, I just love it on my cheeks. And it doesn't even really come out this way. It kind of still stays in the reddy pink tonish, yeah. So, um, and then I'm using this uh, Too Faced Pink Leopard Brightening Bronzer. And I've never used a bronzer before this. Like, I got this the other day. And I've kind of just, like, tried it out. And, um, yeah, I'm, kinda, I'm sorry. I'm trying to, like, see myself. <laughs> okay, um, it just looks like this. And, um, it's, like, the little mini one. It was, like, only $10 at Ulta. And so I got it. And I just tried it out. I'm not too sure if I like it yet. I'm still kind of, you know, testing it out and just using it on my cheeks. Because it does kind of come out more pinky. Because I don't like bronzers. I just, they never work for me because I'm so pale. And, um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and did that. And, um, I don't know. I don't really want, like, super red cheeks. They're super, like, bronze cheeks. So, I mean... I think it adds a little color, and I like the way it looks, so yeah. Um, now I'm going to be using, mas now I'm going to be doing my mascara. I can never find anything. <laughs> um, and first, I'm going to be applying the CoverGirl Lash, Lash Blast. Too much of a tongue twister for me. <laughs> and the Falsies. Um, by Maybelline, the Volume Express Flare, what not, um, it's not the waterproof one, I have the waterproof one, and I actually like this the way it looks better than this one, but I don't like waterproof mascara unless I'm going swimming because it's just a hassle to take off for me, um, sorry, but, um, yeah, and so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. <laughs> Okay, oh, my nose is just, but, like, I also got, like, nailed in the nose at cheer practice, and, uh, yeah, so that kind of hurts, too, um, but my nose was itchy, and it still is, um, so, I'm gonna, I don't know, I, I use so much lip products, because these three things just, I obsess over, and, um, I'm going to be using the sugar thingy lip treatment, and, Probably not the first time you've seen it. I got it for my birthday like everyone else did from Sephora. Yeah, sorry. Too many makeup stores. Um, and then this Clover Tree. It's like I got it from Whole Foods. And it's a sugar vanilla lip balm. And it tastes so good. And then um, the Revlon Lip Butter and Strawberry Shortcake. Um, I just got this one and it's a cupcake. And it's like a lot pinker, but since I'm kind of going with red, um, I think I'm going to stick with that. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. And, um, yeah. Okay, so that, oh my gosh, my nose is just like interrupting. Um, this is it. And, yeah, it's just lipstick. And, um, oh yeah, I forgot to curl my eyelashes. And this is weird, so just... Don't comment that it's weird because I know it is. Curling your eyelashes after you put on your mascara. I think that is a better idea because, I don't know, I just feel like if you do it now, it can stiffen them and keep it curled like how you like it. And, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that because it doesn't take five seconds. See, it like keeps them like that. And, yeah. Also, I don't ever really get a lot of use out of curling my eyelashes. Like, I just kind of do it to do it, you know. Well, actually, it, it, sometimes it leaves no, no difference. Sometimes it does. And today it did. So, that's all I'm going to say about that. And this has absolutely nothing to do with makeup. But I forgot to do this. And then I'm going to put in my hoop earrings. <laughs> Keep getting text messages, but I'm not going to answer it because I love you guys. It's actually from Paige, so maybe this could be interesting. Let me, let me go ahead and read it. Hey, we're back. Oh, sorry. 
that was kind of probably nowhere near close to entertaining. Uh, and also I'm just going to put some perfume on. I use that for my clothes. Secret Wonderland by Bath and Body Works and my Viva, not Vivo Juicy. I used to have that one. No idea what this one's called. It's like the original one. I don't even think it has a name. It's just Juicy Couture. Let's put it on here. Okay. So, um, God, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay. So, oh gosh, it's still coming. That was so gross. Okay, um, bless me. Um, so yeah, that was my outfit of the day makeup tutorial. Uh, Paige, if you're watching this, make your text messages more entertaining next time. Um, by the way, let me just kind of, uh, tell you about what's going to be happening. I just got back from Dallas on Mon Sunday, and, uh, that's where we filmed our two first videos. I'm sad because... I miss them already. Alex and Paige and Alex isn't going to be really on our channel. Like, she, she probably will be, but not as frequently as I think we made it seem. Like, no, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Like, you get it. But, um, uh, um, so, um, this Saturday, Day, sun, this Sunday, I'm going to Buffalo, New York to see Paige and um, our friend Nikki, who um, I think I told her to vlog. I say Paige vlog. I forgot. Paige, did you vlog? I forgot. So once I get there, I mean, unless I forget, which kind of happened. We were supposed to vlog, but we were, gonna, we were supposed to do so many outfit of the days and stuff, but you know, we're lazy, and now I'm putting effort in. I mean, I'm doing this video by myself, you know. I'm very awkward, and I'm, I'm doing my best, so, yeah. I hope that's enough effort, but um, I'm going to Buffalo, New York to see Paige and Nikki, and we're going, we're staying in a cottage on Lake Ontario, I think. There's too many Canadian lakes to get me confused. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that's right. I mean, I'll correct it later, but yeah, Lake Ontario, and it's literally right on it, like, the house, and it's not a lake house, like, it's not, like, a pretty beautiful big house, like, it's kind of like our lake house in Dallas at Cedar Creek, um, <laughs> it's not, I mean, it's the cutest homes, but you can't expect much out of them because they're not very big, and there's only one bathroom, two bathrooms now, finally got the second bathroom in, but, um, and we sleep in the boathouse, I think, we might sleep in a little house this year. We slept in it last year. I've only been last year. Um, and we go to Canada and go to Niagara Falls and all this fun stuff. So I don't think they've done, like, I told, I begged. I said, don't do too many fun things without me. But, I mean, there's only so much you can ask for. I mean, it's their vacation, too. And um, so I'm hoping that we're going to have fun at amusement parks and um, Niagara Falls. And I will make sure to vlog for those because it's exciting. I like to watch when that stuff when I'm bored, so hopefully if we get some freaking subscribers and views, then y'all will like to watch it too. And, um, so yeah, that was my little video. I'm not going to say it again because I've said it already, and it's just like, i got to think and stop talking. And, um, I'm also about to film what I'm packing to Buffalo, and, um... I'll see. Maybe I'm going to do that. i got to walk my dog and do all this other crap. But hopefully I will get to filming that. And um, hopefully these will be put up soon. And um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. And um, comment nice things. Um, leave a video response. Say if you think red looks flattering on me. Because, you know, I, I never really know. <laughs> and yeah. Um, please, like we say at every end of the video, no hate, peace. Um, we don't just do like, because like every girl does, like, the duck face. Like, it's like, it stands for something. It's like, don't hate, you know, be, you know, nice, and, yeah. So, yeah, this is very awkward. I hope I edit some of this out, but, um, I really hope you enjoyed that, like I just said, like, two minutes ago. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.